Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing uh, Cult of the Lamb and we are diving headfirst right into the dungeon. This is going to be our last level of the Darkwood before we fight Lefe or unlock the door to un fight him. Leshy? Leffy? Whatever. <laughs> Finally, let us end this. I'll be awaiting you in my temple. Oh my god, there he is. So there's a couple things that we need for around um, our town that we should look for. Ooh, a Bane Dagger 4. Of course we're going to equip that. I love a Bane Dagger. And Touch of Taroa. And convoke a violent eruption of powerful tentacles. Don't mind if I do. Um, we're gonna need some more wood and some more coins because we're down to only nine coins left, which is kind of low. So we're just gonna go through and, uh... oh, this is one of the baneful weapons that we unlocked. So it's gonna be poisoning. It does poisoning damage for free. Can you believe it? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go on a path that gives us um, wood as well as some um, coins, hopefully. I mean, we get coins no matter what, but uh, we definitely need some lumber so we can build a lumber yard. And uh, that way we won't run out of coins, hopefully. Oh God, Leshy's already on us. He's like, bruh. You persistence is beginning to annoy me, little lamb. You may think yourself clever. You may think yourself righteous in your service to him. Uh, <laughs> but you should not be so trusting of the chained one. Is it the chained one or is it H.I.M. from Powerpuff Girls? Because he's also him. Anyways, oh, well, it's too late for talk. One such as you deserves no absolution. This will not end well for you. You know, Leshy, I don't need the attitude. I'm just over here trying to avenge myself because y'all killed me. And if you didn't like the consequences, then you shouldn't have played the game, which is murdering all of my fellow sheep brethren. OK, if you didn't like it, then you shouldn't have tussled with a little sheep. I'm just a little guy. There we go. Easy pie. Easy as cake. Uh, onward, onward we shall go. Ooh, a perfectly placed pattern path. We get paths in this too? I love the customization that we can do in our little town. We can really, you know, who doesn't love a little creativity, a little decoration and being able to make it like completely customized to what you want it to be. Ooh, a tarot. OK, gain an extra heart or 10 percent chance of gaining hearts when you're killing an enemy. Well, considering we're still on the first path, there's an opportunity for us to actually get more blue hearts, but the red hearts are refillable. Um, let's go ahead and get an extra heart because that way it can refill, hopefully. I'm not very good at aiming this curse. Don't think I like it. I like the one where it like auto aims for you. I love I love an auto aim. There's a reason I play Torbjorn DPS, okay? <laughs> okay, and a tarot. Receive double health when healing. Perfection, that's what we like. Okay, so we get a follower and then dead coins and then a cat if we go this way. This, I don't know what that means. But we do need wood, so this will lead to wood, and then we can ricochet over here and get a follower before exiting out. So let's do that. Get some more wood for our for our uh, little town here. Were we supposed to chop it, or were we supposed to just fight it? Because I just fought it. Of 
course, we gotta defeat all the Leshy statues. There's only one person y'all should follow. And that is me. Ooh, and some health. Perfect. Um, okay. Oh, there's three ways for us to go. Uh, I guess we'll go this way first. Wrong choice. Ooh, but some of these purple are some of these red flowers we need for uh, some of the for some decorations around our cute little town. OK, let's go back. Oh, I think if we go towards the sun and the moon stuff. Yeah, this is the way towards the tarot. OK, it actually tells you overall weapon damage increase. Yes, please. Since we're almost done with the dungeon anyways. Fantastic. Okay, now we can actually go forward. Oh, it's just a little fishing guy. A little fish, a fisherman fish. Wait, is his mouth on top of his head? Then why does he have a nose? <laughs> Those are his lips. Hey kiddo, keep your eyes off my fishies. There ain't enough for the both of us. The best fish can be found at Pilgrim's Passage. Where's that you say? Let me show you. And we got a new map area. Okay, so there's fishing and Pilgrim's Passage. See, now get out of here. No you. I'm gonna steal all your fish anyways because I'm a terrible person and I love a fish. And I love fish, that's why. Oh, okay. Shoots multiple projectiles that seek out enemies. I do want that. Or the Bane Sword. Let's equip this one. Because I want to change our curse. And let's go ahead and recycle that. Because I don't mind the, the Bane's daggers anyways. Get some stone too while we're at it. And of course some grass. Could we go here? Oh no, we can't go backwards. I was just double. I was just checking and making sure, but here we go. <laughs> the last boss. Let's get some bones. We have over a hundred bones now. We'll have plenty of rituals to do. Steal the devotion and chop up his monument. There's only room for one. There's only room for one god in this town. I'm scared. Okay, so. We have Bane Axe level five. So that it is gonna be fat, better than the one that we have now. Um, Let's go ahead and do this. And I guess we'll um, recycle our level four dagger. Oh, it's nighttime. I was like, are we about to see Leshy again? Ooh, a sword guy. Perfect. Let's see what he offers us. Um, Crusader's Blade 6 or the Bane Dagger 6. Oh, the Bane Dagger, of course. Let's go ahead and recycle that. Look how fast we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of fill up our uh, thing a little bit. Get on out of here and uh, onwards, onwards. <laughs> I'm so excited. We are getting close to that boss. We gotta be. Not yet, not yet, but <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Hopefully I don't die. That would be so embarrassing. Oh my gosh! Ah! What the heck is all this going on? Okay, that was slightly scary. 
Um, all right, we still have more. We still have more. Oh no, we don't have more! Oh my gosh, guys, okay. <laughs> I'm excited. <sighs> Here we go to the boss. Oh my gosh, we don't have very much. A bed has collapsed. The flock is ready for another sermon. But before we do any of that, we have to fight Leshy here. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my gosh. Here we go. I grow tired of you, little lamb. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. Oh! They all just stab themselves like that? You okay? <laughs> um, okay, start fighting him. Oh god, he's one of those guys. Hopefully, I don't die. Ah! Use up all of our burst damage that we can. Kill all the- kill all the ads, kill all the ads. Oh! We did it? Oh my god, we did it. Alright, get the heart of a heretic, I guess. Maybe I have it on too easy of a difficulty. You have taken the beating heart of a heretic. The red crown can feast upon this heart to unlock new crown abilities. Visit the altar in your temple to unleash the true power of the red crown. Wow, we did it! <laughs> oh my god. It's unchained? We we unchained them? Or is that one of the chains on our um, guy there? We got a trophy. Oh, we gotta build that. And... We got an acquired wooden lanterns in the shape of a cross. Okay. Some new blueprints. Of course, we got to get that trophy done, though. That's amazing, honestly. Um, Of course, collect all the bones and flowers since we're here. Might as well. Now, I wonder, because like uh, on Moonlighter, you can then go back and start uh, harvesting this dungeon and just collecting resources from it to help uh, your to help your town grow without necessarily uh, continuing on with the story, which is really good when you're like low on, you know, supplies. That always helps. An 11 minute dungeon, 75 heretics defeated. Leshy fell before you like a grain of sand before a tidal wave. That's it. Okay. Yeah, we did do good. Was that appraisal from our sheep dad? Okay. What is a shepherd without a flock? Just a guy, I guess. <laughs> there was confetti. <laughs> we did it too. Our followers are starving. Whoa, whoa. Let's go ahead and cook them up some stuff then. We'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have six followers. We better have six followers. There, eat and be happy. Oh, I guess I could have harvested these berries first. Then they wouldn't have to eat grass, but. Oh, he just threw up. They're all throwing up. Ew. <laughs> Clean all this up. Oh, he's... Oh, he didn't get sick. Okay, cool. Perfect. I can't believe it. We are so victorious, guys. We did that so well. 
I'm so happy for us. All right, first boss down, three more to go. Let me go ahead and also get this devotion out of the way here, so that way they can start worshiping again. And let's build a stone mine, so that way, now that all of our resources have pretty much been harvested from this area, um, we need that to continue. Pick up this dookie. And then we should also fix this bed. And... Do a sermon, all of our dailies. They love us, they love us, they're so happy. Let's look at our crown here. So we can do a heretic heart. Once a day, eat a meal to receive a blue heart. When killed on a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. Focus while on a crusade run to instantly return to the base or receive a deceased heart at the beginning of each crusade run. Um, let's do uh, the return so that way we don't necessarily have to like progress a lot. We can always just return to base and not finish the dungeon. I think that's pretty safe to say. What else? Oh, we also can do a new doctrine, of course. Let's do that one. Is money the root of all evil or is the true evil withholding it from me? Um, yeah, let's extort tithes because I don't really want to be paying off my followers. We aren't really necessarily rolling in the gold yet. Oh, and we got another doctrine for tomorrow. We can do that as well. <laughs> Who's pooping in the kitchen? Disgusting, all of you. All right, so what I wanted to build is make sure that we can um, sustain a little bit by building ourselves a lumber yard. So let's place that there. And then we're also going to build a stone mill because like I said, we're pretty much done with all of our resources around here. So let's do a stone mill here. Let's go build those. And then they want us to visit Pilgrim's Passage, probably to get cooking on some stuff, that's for sure. Cooking on some fishes. We're just the three best buds hammering away, hammering away. So now these are two stalls are up and running. We can use those to kind of increase our, uh, increase our stone and wood output now that everything's pretty much finished. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So let's go ahead, give them a blessing. They love it. And then we'll also get some tithes. Oops. Oopsies. Well, it's nighttime now. So let's go ahead and give this guy our blessing since he's not going to go to sleep. You look so tired. <laughs> Glorious leader, we caught Barbados stealing from another cult member. We demand justice. Please, leader, imprison them. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and send Barbados to prison. Which one of you is Barbados? I'll send him to prison. <laughs> Oh my god. You honor me, great leader. I am eternally grateful. So how long does he have to stay in there? So you imprisoned a loyal follower who is not dissenting. So we can re-educate, read his mind, or release him. I guess we can just probably release him now, right? He's gonna eat some food before going to bed. Good. And now it is day 10. The flock is ready for another discernment and another doctrine. What better way, oh, what better morning routine than to go pray to the cursed um, lamb of your cult? <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Curse of the Occultist. Three new curses will appear on your crusade. Increase the total amount of fervor you can hold, allowing you to cast an additional or vampiric weapons. Ooh, let's do the vampiric weapons just because I'm not very good at dodging. 
So now we have Baneful and also Vampiric. Dang, we really do be filling up now, huh? So let's go ahead and start with this guy, give him his gift, and then extort some tithes from him. Oh, and he's ready to level up. Ooh, it looks like we're gonna go ahead and unlock some scarecrows, uh, and that'll hopefully keep the birds away. So let's try building one now. It does take up a farm tile, but oh my god, that's not what I meant to do. If only we could place it here in front of it. But this is the place where we're gonna have to place it. <laughs> Okay, let's head over to Pilgrim's Passage and learn how to fish. I'm excited. Let's check it out. Ooh, some berries. We always love some berries. New location discovered. Looks like there's a lot of harvestables around here, too. But the more food we can get for our people, the better, because we have a lot of them and they eat a lot. So, of course, we want our cult members to survive. Buy follower form or unlock unlocked followers forms. Oh, cute. OK, says that we can buy them, too. Fantastic. Oh, it's a little cow. Oh, he's so cute. I love a little cow. <laughs> That one's going to be adorable. I don't necessarily like changing their forms, but maybe if we get like a lot of duplicates, we can and it won't be a big deal. All right, let's talk to this guy. Well, look at what the tide dragged in. What are you just standing there for? Think I'm going to fish for you? I'm not one of your mindless acolytes. OK, dang, catch a fish. Let's fish. Hold. Oh. Oh, we got a crab. Hmm, not so useless after all. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things that a fish like me, or I mean fisherman like me, has no use for. But to you, well, you look like you could use some valuable things. Below these waves lurk some of the hardest to catch beasts that ever lived, and I've been trying for years. If you can snag them, these treasures are yours. Catch me a crab, a lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Take this as a gesture of good faith between non-fish friends. <laughs> oh, nice. And we got an extra tarot card. Enemies have a chance to drop a fish with Neptune's curse. Fantastic. Ooh, a lobster. Easy peasy. Ooh, a blueprint. Okay. Oh, we got a fish. <laughs> we got a fish form. Adorable. More fishes. All right, let's go ahead and give him this. Pinch me, is that a crab? This gives me such a fight. I thought I'd hooked a whale. It's yours now. I don't know what that is. Oh, ooh, okay. Let's go ahead and give him a lobster. Lobster, very good, very good. As promised, here's a bit of treasure. Well, this looks like it's going to be a bunch of fun, honestly. But let's head back to our home. And now that it's nighttime, cook up some of this extra fish that we made. So that way our followers don't starve. Go ahead and use that to get our shelters up. Please, leader, there are some folks who are starving and have no place to call home. We must let them join our cult. Uh, let's accept that. Let me go cook some food for them so that way they don't starve. <laughs> um, all right, so we can do one of those. Probably not a bowl of poop, but some basic berry bowls. Let's go ahead and cook all of that. And then go over here and indoctrinate them. Let's go ahead and choose a form. These are the new ones that we got, but I don't think we have a pig yet, so we're going to keep him. Oh, man, I forgot what color we left off on. Uh, let's do purple. And of course, we want to give them the stripes. Oh, look at his little haircut. <laughs> uh, no, but we're going to give him his stripes. He 
Heals 15% slower when sick and in bed rest. Okay. Now go get that food. <gasps> it's a little cat! Cute! Okay, so this color and choose variant. Ooh. All right, 15% easier to level up, gain 10 fa faith when falling ill, and gain faith when building better sleep quarters. Okay. I knew you could do it. You are truly divine. That's right, I am. Don't forget it. See, they have food right away. They should be happy. Anyways, let's get back to building this. And we'll do Fervor of the Righteous and unlock this and get an additional cast for our curse and also get another doctor in belief in materialism trait. All cult members will gain the materialistic trait, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters or all cult members will gain the false idols trait, which gain more faith when placing a decoration building. Let's do belief in false idols because we can always add more decorations, you know? Versus I feel like the sleeping quarters will eventually come to an end. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. I can't believe we've beat the first boss already. Um, next episode, we'll definitely continue fishing, getting the squid and the octopus, as well as just general upgrades here on the farm, and then probably dive into the second, uh, the second dungeon next week. So as always, go ahead, leave a comment down below if you'd like your name to be one of the followers name is, names. I'll be doing that on Monday's videos. Um, and check out the description. It has a link to all my social media, including my TikTok, my Patreon, and my sticker shop. If you want to support me for free though, I'd really appreciate that. All you have to do is like, comment, and share this video, as well as subscribe to my channel. All of that really helps the YouTube algorithm get my content in front of more people's faces. Uh, leader, th that was hilarious. Let's do it again. I know Arger will find the funny side to it. Should we make him eat another bowl of poop? Maybe. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and cook that bowl of poop here before we get out of here. And then which one's Arger? This one's Arger. Um, find a meal and eat it. The bowl of poop. <laughs> Make sure he's the one that eats it. I feel like he's gonna die here. I mean, he's been eating things in between. But he- oh, he's so sick. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Arger! Where are you gonna go puke? Where is it? Oh, it's just a turd. Alright, let's go ahead and, um... Uh... Bed rest for you, Mr. Sick Boy. Bed rest, please. Okay, so he's gonna go recover from that because this is just cruel and unusual punishment. But yeah, that is where I'm gonna go ahead and leave the episode. Until I see you guys again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye. <laughs>